Nobody likes Poison Ivy and in this fast paced pressure luck game it's no different. You must use two fingers to pick up a leaf and once you've touched it you must pull it out using the same hand for the rest of the game. You can remove as many leaves as you want but don't get too greedy because if you pull a red stem leaf then that one has Poison Ivy on it and you must return all the leaves you pick that turn. In doing so you'll need to place a bandage on one of your fingers. Players are eliminated by having four bandages on their hand. The game ends when there's only one player left with less than four bandages. I bring to you Poison Ivy, the game. Welcome to Tabletop Island. I'm Bernardo, your host, and today we're going to be talking about the vintage board game, Poison Ivy, the game. This game, very hard to find. In fact, I don't know why I don't look at these sometimes. I really should start looking. This game came out in 1969. Very hard game to find. In fact, there aren't any other videos online that teach this game or show off this game. It is unique. It's by the Ideal Company. Not very many games from them are easily accessible. There is a line that they have that is very hard to find in this no exception. Poison Ivy the game, you have a Poison Ivy patch and you're pulling the leaves off trying to get the most regular green stem leaves. You can pull as many as you want on your turn, but once you pull a red stem, you must replace all of the green ones back that you picked that turn. Or you cannot be greedy, take two of them, maybe one, and then pass your turn. And then it keeps going. If you get a Poison Ivy, you put a bandage on. The person with um, less than four bandages on their hands, uh, basically last man standing, wins. Now this game, simple. I don't think it has too much to offer, I'm going to be completely honest. Outside of it being a rare game, I don't see it having much value as something you should add to your collection. I got a really good price, I paid $30 for this game. I've seen it go anywhere from like $80 to like $130. I have been looking at this game for quite some time and I never really thought it was going to be on my radar and all of a sudden boom shows up and I did pick it up immediately because I thought it was cool to show you guys. Again I was very excited to add this to my collection because it's an ideal game and these games are really hard to find but don't go out of your way to get this game. It's a cool fun unique game but it doesn't offer enough to grant going out to purchase it. If you don't get a good deal obviously if you find it cheap pick it up why not. But that is all I have for you guys today. Again, this is a very simple one. Not too much to talk about. The commercial says enough. Uh, if you are interested in notifications though, please hit the bell up there. You will be notified. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate any feedback. I'm trying to make these commercials more and more outrageous. And with your help, I have been doing so. So I do appreciate the feedback I've received thus far. Mondays, regular board game reviews. Wednesday, weekly updates. And then on Friday is our vintage board game reviews. That is all I have for you guys today. See you guys next time.